Hello and welcome to a documentary on the construction of the Riverside Stadium. Work started on this stadium in autumn 94 at a cost of 16 million pounds and this is some archive footage that I found on the internet of this stadium. Absolutely fantastic, enjoy. Plans for the new all-seater stadium were only unveiled this morning, but the club reckons it'll be built and ready for a grand opening ceremony in just 18 months. The announcement was made at the Teesside Development Corporation's headquarters. It's backing the multi-million pound scheme which will transform this land at Middlesbrough Dock into a sporting palace. It's a tremendous Christmas present, isn't it? Um, Middlesbrough Football Club with a brand new stadium right on the banks of the Tees, a real Teesside site. It's great news. This is the first announcement that we're making today, but we have another series of announcements that we'll be making in the new year, which are equally exciting um, and re really mind-boggling, some of them. The stadium will have four stands at first, which will hold 32,000 fans. But if the club's successful, then the capacity can increase by 10,000 by adding all the corner sections. There'll be 20 executive boxes and a host of other top facilities which will put the club and Teesside on the map. You were a member of the consortium that brought the club back from the dead in 86. It must be very pleasing for you to see such ambition these days. Sure, we've come a long way. 1986, the club uh, had huge debts. We, the shareholders, and, and the club had to pay off uh, over two and a half million pound of debt uh, to then go on and to announce in a very uh, within seven years a 16 million pound development shows the ambition that we have for Middlesbrough Football Club. It's a great day for the football club, an important day for the football club, but also for Middlesbrough, the town of Middlesbrough, and the people of Teesside. We've achieved something today. Um, we've achieved a super stadium. What we now need to do is work to building a super team. I have given assurances today that it will not affect and impinge upon the team building plans. It, I've given that assurance to the, the manager, I'm giving it to the players, and I'm giving it to the supporters. Um, it will open in 1995. We have uh, been shown an awful lot of confidence today by the, the, the quality of the people that have sat here, and they would not have done that unless they were absolutely sure that Middlesbrough Football Club could deliver. This is where the stadium for Middlesbrough Football Club is supposed to be.
work at the new Riverside Stadium was well underway. What about the pitch though? It doesn't look too clever at the moment. The pitch is uh, nice and green, isn't it? Um, all the work's gone on with the pitch, the drainage in, there's certain soil on there. They've just covered it over to protect it and hopefully we'll see it in April. Uh, by August we should have a nice green playing surface. Do you think the fans now have really taken to the new stadium? Yeah, I think they have. I think that a lot of them didn't believe it was actually going to happen. Uh, they're now, as I say, coming down in the hundreds, looking at it, and s there's still one or two sceptics who say, I'll not believe it till I've sat in the stand and the game's been played, but believe you me, the stadium's here and we'll be here in August playing football. Right, the key question really is, will it be ready in time? Yeah, I think it will. Everybody's geared up to that. Uh, the contractor knows the, the termination date and he's quite happy he can meet it. So, yeah, we believe we'll be here in August playing football. Borough will begin life at their brand new stadium in the Premiership. Home for the next millennium, a state-of-the-art stadium at Millhaven on the banks of the Tees. A distinct horseshoe design. 32,000 will be the capacity and £16 million is the cost of the largest new ground in the country. Work began in October 94. Brian Robson and George Hardwick presided over the groundbreaking ceremony, then in step Taylor Woodrow construction. They're tasked to build a new stadium fit for the next century in less than 10 months. Borough's fans have flocked to the visitor's centre, making regular checks on the ground's progress. Well, it's very exciting and all time I've been coming to see Middlesbrough. I couldn't believe it when the news was announced and it's, uh, it's just so exciting. Can't wait till next season. Are the plans you've seen what you expected? Uh, better than expected, if anything. Better than expected. It's. Uh, very, very impressive, the size and the design of the stadium. It's a very sort of attractive design. Can't wait. <laughs> very impressive. It just like gives you a glow in your heart to actually look at it and think we'll be there next season. Hopefully it's going to be the start of a new era for the club and we can actually go on and win something. Fingers crossed. Can't wait for this new stand and you know all the excitement that goes with it and I just hope we get the success you know that we that all the borough fans deserve so long awaited you know that should be good for the development in this area won't it from being like a completely derelict area like especially when they're bringing all the training pitches on all around the dock that will make it uh, a decent area the 132 acre site provided by the Teesside Development Corporation has been transformed and Borough are on the way to a new home boasting some of the best equipped facilities of any football ground in Britain. And their first ever game at the Riverside Stadium sponsored by Selnet was against Chelsea in front of a crowd of 28,000 plus their biggest home attendance for over 14 years. So Craig Hignett had the honour of scoring the first ever goal at the Riverside Stadium and then Norwegian International Fortune made it 2-0 a great home win against the Chelsea and there ends our look back at the Riverside Stadium from the beginning thank you very much for watching this video please like and share and I'll say goodbye for now